Parents should be careful with the words they say in front of their children, because children are like sponges and absorb everything they hear. The words and phrases that parents use can shape a child's self-esteem, beliefs, and attitudes. Their words can be powerful tools for building self-confidence and resilience in children, but they can also cause harm if used carelessly. In this video, we will talk about five things you should never say to children. Make sure you watch to the end because you might have overlooked some of the ifs on this list. Before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to get updates on new videos. Number 1. Practice makes perfect. While it is true that dedicated practice can lead to improved skills in any area, it's essential to be aware that excessive pressure to excel can have a negative impact on a child's mental well-being and motivation. Encourage your child to work hard and strive for progress rather than focusing solely on winning or avoiding mistakes. This mindset shift can lead to a more positive and fulfilling experience for the child and help them to truly appreciate their progress and achievements. As Joel Fish, PhD and author of 101 Ways to Be a Terrific Sports Parent, puts it, this approach can help children to understand that making mistakes is a natural part of learning and growth. Number 2. Great Job According to research, giving generic praise of such as good job or way to go for every skill that your child masters may lead to a dependence on external validation rather than intrinsic motivation. Parents advisor Jen Berman, PsyD, suggests reserving praise for moments when it is truly earned and being specific in your feedback. Instead of saying, great game, try to point out the specific actions that you appreciate and liked, such as, I really liked how you passed the ball to your teammate, that was a nice assist. This approach helps your child to understand what they did well and what they should keep doing, while also fostering independence and self-motivation. Number 3. You're okay. When your child experiences an injury, such as a scraped knee, it's important to remember that their tears are not a sign of weakness, but rather a healthy response to the situation. Telling them you're fine or it's not that bad may validate their feelings and make them feel worse. Instead, Dr. Berman suggests acknowledging and validating their emotions. Offer a comforting hug and words of empathy, such as, I can see that you're upset. It's understandable that you fell down. Then ask if they would like physical comfort or assistance, like a bandage or kiss. This approach helps your child to feel heard and understood while also addressing their practical needs. Number 4. Hurry up. When your child is getting ready in the morning and running late for school, it can be frustrating and stressful. However, pushing them to move faster can create additional stress and tension. Instead, Linda Eckridolo, PhD, suggests taking a different approach by softening your tone and saying something like, let's hurry, instead of hurry up. This sends the message that you are working together, and it's not them against you. With this approach, it is also essential to give your child the space to do things at their own pace, whether it is getting dressed, shoes tied, or having breakfast. Number 5. Don't talk to strangers. It can be challenging for young children to understand the concept of strangers, especially if the person is kind and friendly. Children may also misinterpret the rule and become hesitant to seek help from unfamiliar people like police officers or firefighters. An alternative approach is to talk to your child about specific scenarios and how to handle them. For example, you can ask them, what would you do if someone you don't know offers you candy or a ride home? This way, you can gauge their understanding of the situation and guide them toward the appropriate course of action. Those are five things you should never say to kids. If you have any concerns about the phrases included in the list, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one.